For those of you guys that haven't seen me yet, I'm Rudy, BBI Door. We did the uh, smoke guards, we did roll up doors, which everybody did. One that did the earlier class got to see. These are your smoke guard curtains. You'll have these on the second floor and then four through eight. You're right, babe. And so they're pretty basic, also. And if you're going to test them, what you want to do is have your nice little handy dandy tool. Open up the hatch, and you guys will be able to see the curtain rolled up inside. So that will come down, and when they're designed to come down, when the fire alarm goes off, these curtains will come down and seal off the uh, the elevators. Do they self roll back up, or is the manual? Well, oh, you will have to. There's a button that's on it. You'll have to touch that button, and it'll roll back up. Um, actually, when the fire alarm does trip, it will, once the, it resets itself, if it's still in the down position, it will roll back up. Uh, do we have a pilot or something to let us know that's already fully engaged back in a reset position? Um, or as a, a limit switch or something? Uh, yeah, you'll have a limit switch. So if you look, actually, so there's that little toggle right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'll, that'll tell it that it's up in that position, that it's it's in the up position. Okay. So, um, we since we can't test it with the fire alarm to like turn it on, have them all drop down. So you say when you reset the fire alarm, it go back up to the It should go back up on its own. Except the cover? The cover will stay down. Yeah. The cover, you know, someone will have to come and. But what about for testing purposes or inspection purposes? Is there a way we could disengage that to That's avoid and have to manually open it back up? Um. As far as like actually testing, just yeah, testing the pumps testing or testing right here. Well, if you test that smoke detector, we're going to drop it. Exactly. So yeah. my point is, a question is, is there any way we could take that out of the loop for the test? That, purposes? I'm not sure. You'd have to talk with the guys that are doing the fire alarm, that set up the fire alarm. Yeah, yeah. Fire alarm. yeah. 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 The they have to test it. They have to. Let you, I mean, you'd have to reprogram the whole system to do that. Yeah. 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 They're designed to seal up as soon as that thing goes off. So there's no bypassing other other than your, your normal test, which I'll show you as soon as it comes down. Up here, there's a toggle. And basically, basically what you're doing is putting it in the off position. So right now it was on. You put it in the off position. Give it a second or two. It doesn't come down. And these things, they're very easy, all magnetic. This is the rail, your track. There. You know, so even if the thing gets crooked, you can always just line it back up, put it back on. And then in the event, in the event of the fire alarm, you hit that button, it roll that roll itself back up. But since it's in testing right now, all I really did was turn it off, and then if you look up here, there's that on and off switch Yes. right there. Just go ahead, you turn it back on, give it a second. And there you go. And just so that way, I don't want you guys to be uh, be afraid of it because it's kind of intense. So, so after it goes it, back up, what did, what did you just do there? Uh, I turned it back on, and then or I turned it back off, and then I closed the door because I want you guys to see it's kind of, it's loud. So when that door, that's what you get. So I just don't want anybody to be alarmed or freak out when you hear that go off. Because I tested it earlier and scared myself. So yeah, so when you go to test, just right now, like I said, it's in the off position. Turn it back on. And after basic testing, to be able to test the function of it. Once a uh, year, if you guys, whenever you guys have the uh, fire inspection and have to recheck anything, if you guys have to test it, then then that's when you'll see curtains drop with the fire test and you know the whole process of it going down. Then you'll hit the button, the thing will retract and go right back up. 
and then yeah, you'll have to come back and close the curtain, close the, uh, the door. So, uh, I don't know if anybody, either one of you guys want to try it, just so that way you can see where we're looking at, where you can feel. You're basically looking for the white box. And then you're looking for the, the switch. switch. Yeah. Is there a delay when I hit the switch? Yeah, it'll delay. Okay. Give you enough time to get out of the way. The track itself, you can make sure that you can always test it, make sure that it's that everything's good. You know, you can fill it with you, it's like a quarter of an inch over, okay. just in case there was any play or anything to it. And then, yeah, you just go ahead and turn it back on. And, uh, and in the it, event of an actual alarm or false alarm or something, we wouldn't be touching that rocket switch. We'd be hitting this yeah, button up front. Yeah. So if, if, oh. if, if the alarm did go off and this thing came down, then you would press that. And, and not touch that switch yeah, at all. That's for testing purposes yeah. only. That's just to make sure that this thing is still functioning, still working. Mm. If, the, if the building's still in alarm mode and you push that button, it'll roll up, but it'll come right back down. Yeah. Somebody has to reset the alarm for it to stay up. Okay. Now, how about in trouble? Like when we get system trouble, you know how fire are going to get in system trouble. One comes down, do they all come down? Uh, it will come down per floor. So, so, okay. so if the smoke is up on this one, these will come down. These the ones above it will not. These will come down, and I believe it's one above, one below. So they're not they sure. aren't any on the first floor. No, no they're not any on the first floor. Those are hollow metal doors, and those are uh, that was just an uh, architectural design to be fire rated doors that seal up. So you'll have those type of doors on one and three, and then everything else will be this smoke curtain. And after the fire alarm panel is reset, these roll up automatically. Yeah. Yeah. Then you have to come back and push the covers back. Then, yeah, then you'll have to come back and close these up. But other than that, like I said, it's it's a very simple design. Very uh, easy. Yeah. Yeah. Are they battery backed up? Yes, they are battery backed up. Are we the battery? Those are with wherever the fire That's alarm powerful. system's at. Okay. So, what's going Yeah. You got to stick your hand up in here. Yeah, no, he says that. We'll fill a toggle. Okay. Yeah, you'll fill a toggle and you'll switch it. That curtain is moving down the street. Yeah, I'm going to switch it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, it gives you a couple seconds because it's enough time to get out of the way of it. Like I said, very simple design. Just to, you know, if it gets off, you know, it, it's very easy to stick back on. Will it go back up if you push the? No, uh, as of right now, this it's off. Be so, oh, because it's yeah. off. That's right. Okay. So I got they, you. you will use this so, in the event of a fire. So at well. night time, we evacuate the building and say there's already a fire or yeah. smoke detector from a patch. Something goes off. Everybody will evacuate, and we have to come back in and go to every floor and press those yeah. buttons. Um, if the fire alarm resets, you, yeah, you'll have yeah, to come. Yeah, they still have to. fire come, come, reset, yeah, right. everybody starts coming back into the building, and we have to come up to every floor and press yeah, those and sensor come, buttons. And then get a step land and come back and put all the shovels yeah. out. Either that or you have a very tall gentleman. Yeah, but at 2 o'clock in the morning, we don't have many floors yet. I, I thought you said that the, the, when the fire alarm resets, they go up. Yeah. yeah you just have to close that. Yeah, so what are, yeah. what are you talking about? He's just saying that in the event that somebody wanted to come back and close that when you don't have to come back and push that they should go they should, they should, should back but if they don't there's oh, a I button there to reset them yes if, so, yeah. so okay. when would you use that button to reset it if the fire alarm is off and the curtain's still down press that button it go back up nine times it, it, normally the fire alarm would shut off it would reset itself and then they would kind of they would retract back up on the own yeah so if they don't kind of, then you press the yeah, button exactly. so Anybody else want to try it? Know where that toggle is at? I'm good. Understand the system? Yeah. Yep. I mean, it's, like I said, pretty pretty basic, pretty easy. They try to make it as simple as possible. Um, yeah, it, it's a really neat design. Any other questions? No? All right.
well, yeah, like I said, uh, well, we can go over to B, we'll do the same thing, we'll go through that. And then, um, yeah, it's the same, to test it, turn off, just turn it off, let it drop down, turn it back on, it'll come back. Is that the same one you have around this It's similar, the, the, little, the toggle switch is a little different. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 We'll go, over, we'll go over to B and I'll have these okay. check it out. So, let's so level out. level four, five, six, seven, eight is identical to yes. these. Yes. So do you guys want to go up and see each floor in building A? No. no? Okay. Where's the doors? Which are the ones that have the doors? You see the third, third floor? First floor. So when we go down the stairs right now, I'll show you those. Okay. You can see them. Okay. should do that. That will close, there's been a lot of pressure on this door to get it to seal because it needs to seal. But there's no on-off switch, there's no nothing to it. It's put on the magnet. If the alarm system's back, if the smoke, if the uh, fire detector is still on, this thing won't, won't hold it. So another question, if we lose electrical power to the whole building, uh, will all the doors activate, the curtains and the stove? They, they will all, they're all on a, on a backup generator and they're all in the same, what they're supposed to do, which is close in the event of fire or, you know, uh, stay open. If the generator's on, mags are going to be on if there's nobody, if the, the fire system's not triggered. And if there's a delay between the generator keeping on, the doors will close? They'll close. They will close. Yeah. So they, do that stand alone or is it operating off the smoke detector? It is off the smoke detector. So these, these are supposed to stay open, you know, I will say 99% of the time, unless there is a fire and these will shut. And they'll shut automatically, just, they'll, you know, uh, fire alarm will go off, mag will release, doors will close. And, and until they trip, until they're reset, the mags will not work until the alarm system is reset. Now, are those mags off the batteries on the fire alarm system or strictly 110 volts? These are, these should be strictly off the fire system. So if the fire alarm system is on or on or not on, you know, if it's triggered, mm -hmm. then they will still Well, I'm well, well, saying if the power goes off to the building, the yeah. fire alarm system is still, it's still activated. It's still activated. So these doors would stay yeah. open. Yeah. So, and this is a delay between. No, because the battery, battery. Fire alarm system has battery, battery backup. Oh, right, right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and like I said, these are going to be on first floor and third floor. And they're, they, they, we needed it because the air pressure changes inside the uh, elevator shaft. So I needed to make them to where, you know, fire life safety will always supersede a ADA. So these doors will close and they will swing and close because they need to. So, I mean, same thing, pretty basic. Not, nothing that special like the ones upstairs. Uh, yeah. And also they can be open from the inside. Yes, yeah, you can be able to open them on the inside. It's just a, this is just a passage latch. So you can get in or out, but they just, in the event of a fire, they have to be sealed. Any questions about these? Hmm? All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's go to B. Same scenario, you got all the metal doors on the first floor and third floor. Same thing, connected to the fire alarm. And yeah, like I said, in the event of a fire, release stores let you know that they're shut same thing on on a magnet hooked up to the fire alarm and other than that it should just stay like this good let's take it up to uh second floor everybody up here all right so Same thing. Give it a minute. Gives you enough time to get out of the way. Same, same deal. Same magnetic. These are. Just so that way you guys do know that these are your rails on the side. So if anything impedes it, if somebody kid sticks something in between, and all of a sudden it creates an obstacle, 
might be a problem, but the magnetic, the, the, the band should just roll right over it and keep on going. Um, yeah, so to whoever else hasn't seen where that toggle's at, this was it. Anybody else? Where are you? That toggle oh, okay. is right there. Right. So if you're testing it, you're going to turn it off. You're going to let the door, let that curtain make its, its trip all the way down. Right. And then you see that the whole thing's functioning. You see that it's working good, that everything's going all right. You will turn that back on. Basically, uh, the world of cleaning solutions would you inhibit that, that magnet from sticking in there when they start No, um, it should be pretty solid. It, it's, it, I mean, it's, it still has the, you know the protective coating. Yeah, yeah. So, the still here. Yeah, it's, it's actually a pretty strong magnet that's on there. Um, and it's the whole, how wide it is, mm -hmm. is what keeps it you know, in place. So, anybody else want to test it? See. Make sure that they know where to where to stick your hand, where to know where everything's at. Got it. Good? Any other questions? Anything? You good watching? So just so just to reiterate, just if, if we go into a drill, like a fire alarm drill, will those come down? Because yes. the drill's different on the panel. Sometimes when we we do drills twice a year. It'll still come as a test and it'll still activate the, the curtain, and the curtain will still come And when down. we reset the drill, it comes up automatically. If not, yeah. if we not, press the button, yeah. but no matter what, we have to go to every floor and put the covers yeah. back up. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys very thank much. You. Like I said, if you had any other questions? Well, you guys the, um, the system with SSB, the already done it? Did you guys do it? Uh, no. Uh, smoke guard might have, which there, there are some. And that was the other thing I put before I forget. And wherever my little stick went. If you guys have any questions or any you know technical issues on every single door, the smoke guard manual and their contact info is all right here. Okay, that's who manufactures this? Yeah, that's who manufactures it. So smoke guard is the one that manufactures it. They have on each door has the info that you need on it. Okay. And then yeah, you got your yeah. everything everything's there so that way. So I assume these are custom made to size. Yes. Alright. Well guys, I thank you very much. Hopefully I made sense. Alright. Two more is a little bit of 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 a